Well, good morning, everyone. I am extra excited to hear Pastor Darren's message today because he's going to be talking about one of my favorite activities, eating. I love food. Maybe you're planning to eat some really good food today to celebrate Father's Day. Maybe you're going to have a nice juicy hamburger or a sizzling steak right off the grill. Just talking about food is making me hungry. Now, Pastor Darren is going to be talking about the importance of eating food with other people. The Bible is full of stories of Jesus eating with other people because it was one way that he showed them how much he loved and cared about them. So, Pastor Darren has a challenge for us. Make it a goal to eat with three different people this week. Now, if you think about it, that can be a tough challenge, especially in this season when we have to be mindful about how to safely visit with other people. That means this challenge might take some careful planning. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have a jar, which is going to represent how much time I have in my week. I also have three rocks. These are going to represent my three people that I want to eat a meal with this week. Finally, I have my popcorn kernels, which are going to represent everything else in my schedule that I've got going on. Now, let's say I don't plan ahead very well. I've got two meetings on Monday, so I'll pour some kernels in for that, because that's on my schedule. And then I have another meeting on Tuesday, and then a doctor's appointment, so I'm going to pour some more kernels in for that. That's taken up some of my time. And then on Wednesday, I have to work on making a video and getting my kids ready for a trip to grandma's and oh, I gotta walk my dog. So I'll add some more things into my schedule for that. Let's pour some kernels in there. Oh, and then I have to make sure that my kids get some really good, healthy meals. And then I wanna take a break for myself and work on my jewelry making hobby. And I should really read some more chapters in that book that Pastor Darren recommended. So. I'm gonna, oh, that, you know what? That takes up the rest of my time. And there, my week is looking pretty full. Let's see if I can get these three meals in with other people that I wanted to have. My jar won't close. I didn't have enough time to have those meals with three other people. This challenge is turning to, out to be harder than I thought it would be. Let's try it another way. This time, I'm going to try to start by planning when I'm going to eat with three other people. So I'll plan to have lunch with Pastor Angie on Tuesday after staff meeting since we're already in the same place. Then I'll plan to go out for coffee with a friend and maybe when we're done I can read some of those chapters in that book I was talking about. So that's two. And then Maybe if I make a little bit of extra food when I plan to make those healthy meals for my kids, afterward, I could take the rest of that food over to my friends who just had a baby and that would really bless them. So that's three. Now, let's see if I can fit all those other things that I had planned in my schedule around these three meals. Now, I might have to shake things up just a little bit. It all fit. With a little bit of extra planning, I was able to get those three meals worked into my schedule. My week is done, but along the way, I was able to practice blessing those other people. When I put others first, everything else on my schedule was able to fit around them. Now, kids, I know that it's probably tough for you to complete this challenge on your own when you can't drive anywhere by yourself. So what that means is you get the job of helping mom or dad to work on this challenge together as a family so that you can bless other people. 
Let's pray and ask Jesus to help us with this challenge of putting others first. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for the blessing of food. And we thank you that we get to enjoy it here on earth and with other people. We thank you for your example that you showed us of how to love and care for one another, especially by eating together. I pray that you would help us to find ways to put others first and to be able to sit down around a table together and have conversation and enjoy one another's company. Help us to find the creative ways to do that in these strange times that we're living in. We thank you for who you are and all the things that you are going to do through us. In Jesus' name, amen.